All right. So here we go. As you can see, we are in the Netherlands at the Dutch Grand Prix. And oh boy. Yeah. I didn't mess up with the AI difficulty. I, I even questioned myself if it was right or not. But I qualify second. I think I was down by about seven hundreds, seven hundred of a second behind max velocity in qualifying on the third round. So yesterday I had the whole day off and all I did was just, I spent like three hours setting up the car, trying to get it really nimble and, you know, have decent speed. And this is what I came up with. Um, anyway, I, I was hesitant on uploading this video because yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to start doing my own R and D upgrades and try not to upgrade so fast because two more ups upgrades came on the car. It was the DRS, the maximum slot gap uh, for the DRS. So I figured, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a performance boost. And then we got the other one, the ECU, which is just fuel efficiency. But anyway, here's the race and already at the start of the race. Oh my goodness. So here we go. Max and I just took off and just kind of almost left the other field behind. And I didn't want to run into the Max right here. But right there, after being so proud of Oscar for what he did, look at his wing already gone because he ran into the back of Reliance Stroll. Yep, so from there on, it's pretty much race over for him, but he's he's not done there. So this race, we spent so much money repairing his car. It was ridiculous. So anyway, and I'm over here going, okay, come on, Max. I'm just going to follow you for the rest of the race to make the race interesting. It's going to follow you. And here we go. Let's take a look at his view. So I'm trying to stay close to Max. Telling him to go ahead. Keep going. I'll follow you. <laughs> I was going to see if Max will actually leave the rest of the field. But yeah, he's not he's not leaving the rest of the field I was so comfortable on this track my first couple of laps right there my hat my bad habits again breaking late because right there I was like no 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 I don't want to pass Max so I slow way down and let him go and then now just trying to stay behind him but uh, I messed up some of the corners he's if you go wide there and, and your steering wheel is not straight, oh my goodness, you can lose out of control. I was having a lot of trouble with that during practice. So that's why it took me a long time to set up the car. And I try not to hit those. I try not to hit anything during the, this race because, yeah, these, these curves, they're rude. It rumbles on the direct wheel drive and I do not like that feeling so right nope not this one it's this this one right here so I messed up like three times coming to Y because as you can see it's really bumpy it goes up and down up and down up and down so and then when you're trying to turn, it'll make you lose control. So I try not to touch those at all, if I can. So I slow way down. It's so easy to follow a vehicle. And 
and this track is so hard to pause because a lot of stuff did happen that I was trying to watch to see what what's happening. Um, we had, um, I think, like four or five cautions coming up, and I, I tried to pause. At, I think after two, three pauses, and I was like, you know what? This is too much trouble. I, I can't keep pausing on this track because the only the only good spot to pause in this track is right here. But stuff happened like later down, later down the ro road here, right later down the track. And through here, it's so hard to pause, you know, because you're, you're constantly turning, wheels is not straight. And I'm like, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to keep going. I'm gonna have to stop pausing. But right now, Max is not really pulling away from them because we, I can't get over a second on Charles Leclerc and I'm trying to follow him close but not too close not close enough for him to just try to give me a brake check and but he's not giving me a brake check so we finally got up one second here and I break late yet again and it said it's my bad habit but he's slowed down dramatically we went down on Charles Leclerc by three tenths. And then I'm sitting here going, come on, Max, come on, Max, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so, now, I think Lance, no, Esteban Alcon got in trouble too, lost his wing. I think three different drivers had to come in and change out their wing. And he ended up in front of Oscar anyway. I don't know how that is possible, but whatever. So Oscar didn't do anything but lost us money this whole race. <laughs> uh, right when I praised him last video, it's just, what happened, Oscar? <sighs> so anyway, I'm coming here. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm really, really used to the track now because I was riding around here for hours tuning this, tuning that, you know, put up too much of this, too much of that, and I just wanted to make sure that I had enough um, straight line speed, but really nimble. It's, it's really hard to get that, but I think I, I found the right setup here, and yeah, as you can see, I'm keeping up with Max. Um, so, and I was like, okay, this is exciting race. Let's just keep it up. But Max is like losing it. He's trying to punch out way too hard. So he's losing time on Charles. And look at him. Right here, he came in way too hard. Locked up his wheels. And there I go. And I was like, okay. Right now I'm thinking, should I slow down? So right now, Max is fighting with Charles Leclerc. And I'm thinking, okay, I can't slow down right now. Because if I slow down right now, I'm going to have both of them right behind me. Because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep this race exciting. And finally, Max dropped down to there. And I'm already 1.2 ahead of Charles because they were fighting each other. And I'm thinking, should I slow down for them and I'm like no, no I'll, I'll wait until the next time we go into pit then I'll see where I'm at and then that's when I'll slow down and you know I'm not as I'm driving here I'm not really pushing the car I mean I'm just driving normally like in racing pace not really pushing the car but I'm leaving them ever so slightly you know I'll, I'll gain uh, like a tenth or maybe two tenths you know like in about two thirds or about half a lap that's when I gain time on them but gradually gaining time on them see I'm already up at 1.8 now I was at 1.6 going back up to okay so right there 
I just jumped up another two tenths. So, and I'm like, what is going on with them back there? Because I can only see Charles. When I look back there, I saw Max back there too. So they're not fighting with each other. I mean, the next three cars is really close together. So, but I'm, I'm starting to pick up time now. And like I said, I'm not even pushing the car. And I was like, oh my God, maybe I should have just not try to qualify as high because my competitive nature you know I, I had to get a better time than, than Lewis Hamilton because when we were doing the qualification I came in he put in a better time than me I went back out put a better time than him and then after that I didn't go out again because I go out twice per session and then when that happened Lewis Hamilton put up a better time than me and we go to the next one it was like that over and over until well basically until I got sucked in place because you know I kept on pushing the car and yeah but I'm I'm not even pushing the car you know I'm, I'm just see I'm just easily going out of the corners Right here, I'm just barely tapping on the gas, and then when I go, my, when I feel my steering wheel straight, that's when I push it a little harder. So I'm not really pushing it. And yeah, the the car upgrades have been coming on too well. I'm gonna have to slow it down myself. So after this race, I have to turn off automatic. RD upgrades and right there Schumacher and Gasly are fighting each other um but right now it's just me leading I I said that I was gonna slow down when I pit but I, I mean I did slow down I was just driving at regular racing pace and they could never catch up to me after Max spun out pretty much so right here Yuki Sonoda just dropped um, oh man looks like he's got car trouble yep he pulled over Yuki Sonoda is out of the race from probably gearbox but anyway so from here on out that that's it this is the race um, Max lost control in, I think, lap 5? And ever since lap 5, it, I've just been casually driving around the track. <laughs> <You know? laughs> there is like no more action. And back here, I, I was watching Max, um, Tom, with Charles, but he never caught up. Look at him. I know he's got a better car, but after that wheel locked up, Max just couldn't get himself together. But I mean, he did keep Carlos signs at bay. But yeah, as you can see me going up in time and then, you know, just slowing down. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm not even really pushing the car I'm not even driving like I'm qualifying for the race so why can't they catch up and I'm thinking maybe they have some kind of damage um, I haven't even checked actually nope there's no damage so I don't know but Sebastian Sebastian been doing really good ever since he came on to the McLaren's car, but here, here, I think you can get underfloor damage if you go inside really wide. But I didn't see the AI go wide in there, so they must have some other issue other than the you know body issues. Um, it's got to be internal issue. But anyway, so as I'm racing here. I think back then when I slowed down a little bit, they were telling me, oh, 
we just had yeah we just had a virtual safety car out of nowhere and I looked at the replay earlier I couldn't figure out what it was was it ghastly no no so I couldn't find what why they did the virtual safety car nothing happened so yeah I, I couldn't figure out what that was but before this whole virtual safety car happened Mark came on the radio and said hang on a second we're investigating something and I was like oh my god here comes another DNF from me I'm leading the race car has been running great and then Right after the virtual safety car, when I came around, about half the lap was when he came back on the radio and said, Oh yeah, we're having trouble with the ERS system. We're trying to work it on our end, so just sit tight. I was like, oh, thank God. I think it was around here. Yeah, so I dropped down Tom because I, I couldn't use the ERS. So... They're starting to catch up because I couldn't use the ERS, which is fine. I wanted them to catch up anyway. But later on, they actually fixed the issue. And right here, Robert. Oh, he pit. That's why he was dropping. He's coming out of pit. Looks like Oscar came into pit again. Guess what? He totally lost his front wing again again after i praised him and he just ran over some pit crew members after i praised him past race he's gonna go and do this now now i'm thinking you know what next season uh i will see we'll see for the rest of the year i mean it, it's it's only this one race that he, I mean, he disappointed me. This is the second time he disappointed me. So that's pretty much Oscar's race. Um, <laughs> all the action is right here with the next three. So Max finally caught win of Charles Leclerc. See if he can overtake them. I mean, he's right there. I mean, they can see me up front there. I'm only up by 3.8 seconds. See, that's me right there. Because this whole time, I'm like, okay, when I pit, I'm just going to purposely drive really slow and let them catch me. And so we can have some sort of a race. But now I know with the car performance now, we are we're not the top car. Oh, that's not me. That's Oscar. Yeah, that was Oscar. <laughs> Can they not see me? Oh, there I am. Anyway, look at this. Max, after they easily passed Oscar, Max just lost it again. And Carlos is slipping out of the DRS range. So look at that, Max is finally picking up speed, Charles is finally picking up speed, and I'm like, okay, here we go, here they come, finally, we're going to have some sort of a race, um, and I'm sitting there waiting and waiting, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? I think about this time, yeah, my ERS came back, <laughs> so that's why I picked up more time on him. So. I was practicing right there, so I wait for the last moment, slam on the brakes, and I timed that perfectly because I was, you know, practicing what happened there. And Charles stayed out, Max stayed out for an extra lap, I believe. But yeah, Max right here, he still can't make a move on Charles Leclerc. I, I'm thinking he's he's having some kind of performance issue. I think there's something wrong with his car. And I'm thinking there's something wrong with Carlos's car as well. Either that or he got held up by Oscar. 
Um, Oscar is still in view. But yeah, they finally come in the pit here. So Carlos went on. is switching on to the hard tires. So yeah, they stayed out an extra lap. So Max pit crew was faster than Charles Leclerc. Let's check, let's check them out. So boom, 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 boom. So fast. Charles Leclerc, look at that. They had trouble with one of the wheel. Oh, I knew Charles was angry. <laughs> so anyway, here comes Max Velocity. But as soon as he pulls out, And I'm like, what just happened again? Because they pulled up a caution. Look at them. Something happened. Max pulled over and he DNF. His engine burned up on him. He just came out of the pit. <laughs> okay, so from here. So. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell was on the reverse strategy. They stayed out on hard tires and they're going to come in for medium tires. And here I come. Um, I've been out of, on the track for a couple of laps now, I think. And, you know, I'm just driving really slow like I had planned to see if I can you know, let them catch up. So color signs finally went into pit. So now it's just the last two that hasn't pit yet. So I'm just, you know, in racing pace, just driving steady, taking it easy, not really pushing the car. Because right now I'm just like driving, whistling. <laughs> this track is not that hard. It's just yeah, then no. You just gotta be careful. You got to have a really nimble car. So when when I first drove up on this track, it was on balance setting. So I was like, okay, let's let's check out the balance settings. And oh my goodness, I could not make any turns. So I went in there, lowered the tire pressure. I mean, to just rock bottom with tire pressure all the way around. And then I adjusted the wings to be, you know, I think about 10 slots higher than what they initially had it uh, on both front and rear wings. And then after that, I, w I started to make uh, more, more comfortable cornering. Um, and, and then, you know, I went in again and adjusted some more stuff because I wanted to have that kind of nimbleness to the car, but I, I wanted a little bit more speed if I can. So I'm over here not really trying to fight George Russell. I'm just like, okay, I haven't seen a car in a long time. I'm just going to follow George Russell around. Nope. He went in the pit and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll just keep driving by myself then. So his pit crew did a good job there. I think Lewis Hamilton is coming in on the next lap. So yeah, that's that's their strategy. So George Russell is on medium now. Yep. So they're trying to make up time now on medium. But George Russell is like way down way down I don't know if he's going to be able to catch up and look at this because of Carlos signs having trouble with his pit crew he is now down 6 seconds and I'm just here just I'm basically just cruising around the track and they never caught up to me and I'm like uh my car is outperforming these cars. So 
any, I, I think by lap 21, no, I think it was lap 25 or lap 26, when Mark came onto the radio telling me to be careful, be careful with the turbocharger because it's on its last legs. Don't put too many more laps onto it. And I was like, oh boy. First, it was the ERS. Now it's the turbocharger. What else could go wrong with my car? So I just kept driving, you know, just cruising. So let's let's start from here. So I'm coming here. I try to stay in third gear, but I can't do it all the time. So I have to drop down to second down here, drop down to fifth, and just cruise in, drop down to second, and then just easily punch out. You know, I come around this corner here. All you gotta do is just ride it all the way through, drop down two gears, six gear coming around here, and then our next one drop back down to six. You know, and then over here, you drop down to third, and then you pick up some more speed, drop down two gears, a third gear. So, I mean, I know these corners. I'm just basically cruising. You know, you come over here, and then you drop all the way down to third gear, and then tap the fast a little bit, go down to second, and up here, drop down to fifth gear, and just, nope. I dropped down one too many gear, went wide because I was trying to punch it out too early. But yeah, this is basically what I do on this track. I'm just cruising around the track and they cannot catch me. And I'm like, our car performance after this race, we just... We are still neck and neck with Alpha Omega. We didn't pass them. So our car is number six. Should not be leading like this. So I'm thinking that, you know, the AI cars have some kind of damage that I don't know about. But anyway, I think that's my teammate there, Oscar. I think it's Oscar. Yep, it is Oscar. I'm about to lap Oscar. And right here, I'm like, Oscar, follow me. I'll pull you up the field. Just come on and follow me. So I'm just cruising, trying to pull him up the field. But, you know, he kept up a little bit. And then all of a sudden, nope, couldn't keep up anymore. Up, he can't keep up. So, <laughs> anyway, this is pretty much the race. And Carlos Sainz could never catch up to me. He passed up Charles Leclerc back there because, you know, there's no team orders. They're, they're just back there fighting. Lewis Hamilton, he never caught up to them. Um, well, he, he caught up to them, but he never... You never take, overtake any one of these guys. And George Russell is slowly catching up to Sebastian, but I think it's just too much time for George Russell to handle. And I should have picked George Russell as my rival. But anyway, I'm still ahead in points because I've been scoring first ever since we What's, what was that track that I got first place in? Oh man, I can't remember what track that was now. Was it Budapest? Budapest? I think it was the app after the French Grand Prix. But ever since I got that first place, beating out Max on the last lap, making that dive bomb on him. I've been getting first place because the car performance just jumped up through the roof and the car, look at it, yeah, he could never catch up to them. He 
he's got medium tires, so he should be able to catch up to him. But the Ferrari car performance is, yeah. So anyway, as you can see, the list right now is me, Carlos, and Charles. That is the one, two, three finish. I mean, it's just what I'm going to do next race is I'm not even going to qualify. I'm just going to skip through the qualification. I'm going to start out in last. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to make sure I don't get any more upgrades, any more major upgrades coming in. Because if I do, I'm definitely going to do that. If I don't, maybe. Maybe I'll just qualify just one round and quit out of it. But we'll see. Most likely next race, probably see me at the bottom of the list anyway. So I think that would be a good chance for me to go ahead and select a new... Um, a new part to put on the car so i might as well load the car with everything new go ahead and t get out another gearbox go ahead and pull out another um turbocharger and and see what happens see how far i can move up the field with the car performance right now so we got like a little over two laps to go here um but yeah, this is pretty much the race. I slow way down, you know, way down. I mean, I was catching up the lap cars, but it's just, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like I'm just cruising around town, really. You know, I'm not being pressured at all. I mean, I am comfortable being in three, even a two second lead. It's just, yeah, even Charles Leclerc is dropping down now because I think they were catching up the lap cars and he kind of got blocked by lap cars. But he passed that one easily. Anyway, we're on the last lap here, so um, let's see if she'll do the uh, victory pose if I go down here. I, I put on the new victory chant or, or, or call out. Um, she just say, can somebody tell me how to stop this thing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, look at her. Uh, congratulations to me to an easy race. Max Velocity just ruined that whole race for me. And with my teammate Oscar. So we had to spend over 80000 dollars because of him anyway this is the race here in the netherlands at the dutch grand prix thank you so much i'm sorry it was not exciting but i promise next race i'm gonna start all the way in the back because like i said i already plan to just load up the car just select all brand new parts for the car and just take the grid penalty. I mean, I'm just going to go into qualification anyway, see how far I can get it in qualification and then just take the grid penalty and become dead last. So until then, actually might not be tomorrow, but we'll see because I have to go to my nephew's graduation tomorrow. He just graduated out from med school. He is a pharmacist. Congratulations to him. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Peace.